Teak Time with Trav. Dave Chappelle demanded that Netflix do a certain thing and that his fans stand behind him, and they did it. When Monique, a black woman, demanded the same respect from Netflix, everybody labeled her as the bitter, angry black woman. What's going on, y'all? It's A.O. Trap, and I'm back, 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 back again. Y'all, I have... Ooh, okay, I'm going to touch this. I just want to slide this back. Um... Let me slide this up a little bit. Hold on. Okay. So, y'all, I have the spicy noodles. I have lobster. That's it. But I am going to put a little bit two times spicy on here. Y'all know I can't take the heat. But these flavor noodles, the two times spicy, as far as the flavor, is better. Um, so, yes. I'm going to add a little bit of that. But y'all see I didn't put a lot. Because y'all know I can't take nobody's heat. These are two packs. Y'all, the, the little sprinkle that I put on there, I promise that wouldn't lie. Might not even taste it. Um, let me go ahead and say grace. Father God, I come to actually watch over this food. Please let me nourishment to my body. Please let me digest this food properly in my brain. Amen, amen, one more time. Amen. I'm going to start with this lobster tail right here. Ooh, 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 y'all see that? It's kind of big. How was y'all day going today? Mine is going pretty well. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't forget, AO sauce is on sale for Black Friday. Oh, this is good. Well, I mean, I know it's going to be good, but y'all know. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's good. We got another bite. Mm. Hot, y'all. I know I'm gonna waste something myself. I don't know. Y'all also know I don't know how to use chopsticks. How was y'all Thanksgiving? Did y'all eat a lot? Y'all know not to ask me that because I always eat a lot. Mm. I wanna know what y'all got for Black Friday. And did you get it all for yourself? Or mm? To get for other people because a lot of people do their Christmas shopping um, on Black Friday. Because everything's cheaper. I, I mean, why not? It's smart to me. I know when we were younger. I'm almost certain my mom got our stuff during Black Friday.
I already know. We better start talking in a minute. Y'all, we gotta excuse them for being rude. Tea time with Trav. Yeah, throw guys some in my too. Mm. And I clip my nails. Hope not. So, anyway, we're gonna start off with Beyonce. Beyonce's Be Good Foundation has donated $10,000 to 250 small businesses. Let's definitely give her a clap on the back. ASAP Rocky, he gave out meals to people living in the homeless shelter that him and his mom used to live in. Definitely like y'all, th that be that's the best part about um, the holiday season. I feel like people I, I said it before, they get so cheerful and giving and loving. And I think that's that's a blessing. That is definitely a blessing because during this pandemic, hold on y'all. During this pandemic, people have went through a lot. Whether you're a small business, you worked for a bigger business, whatever the case may be, a lot of it, it hit people hard. So for these celebrities to give back to these businesses, it's amazing. Now I'm not good at math, but I think 250 thousand times ten thousand is that 2.5 million i don't know but i know it's in the millions and she didn't have to do that but the fact that she did y'all don't know what that has done for these businesses how would it help them maybe stay open or how it's helped them invest in a new product or you like you never know They could have even used that money to pay um, the employees that they have. <coughs> mm, that was a spicy one. Woo. And then when it comes to ASAP, he was in that struggle. So he knows firsthand what it's like to be in those shelters and for him to go back to not only a shelter, but that same exact shelter and take a burden off a lot of people. That's great. Next up on the menu. Megan's ex best friend Kelsey released a diss track towards Megan. And it sounds bad. Um, I'll start there. But it's still just like 
what was the point? She she threw little slick shots at Megan this whole time on Instagram. Megan make a track. But now this non-rapper puts out a diss track. And he just can't help but make you think that she's milking this for her own game. Because Megan was her ticket to fame. And now here she is. And I don't like that. And then she went on Instagram. Instagram Live, I believe it was. Regardless of what Megan has said, Megan, I don't... To my knowledge, Megan hasn't, you know, said anything as far as trying to air out dirty laundry or anything like that against the girl. But it seemed like that's what Kelsey's trying to do. And that ain't no friend. Mm. My nose money, y'all. Maybe I did put a lot of two-tap spice with the Aldo, but it's hot. Excuse me. Next up on the menu, prisoners. I'm not sure if y'all seen it, but videos keep going viral where people are behind bars in prison or going live on Facebook and Instagram and entertaining women, taking off their shirts, dancing, etc. And <clears throat> oh, excuse me, people now have to wonder: Is justice really being served? And I say that because when you get behind bars, your freedom is supposed to be stripped away from you to make you feel punished for what you did. But if they're in prison and able to use these cellular devices and they're on social media, is are they really on lockdown? That, that's the part I want to know. I've seen a couple. And I'm like, what in the world? And it's not just one or two. Y'all, it's literally like <laughs> groups of them. And they talking to the girls and the girls that send, send me money to this place. Tell them, where does your money to? And they'll take off their shirts and all that. And I'm just like, what? Yeah, I'll be so low. I was really looking at one of them. Like, it, it showed up on my Facebook. Somebody shared it. And, like, I, I was watching. They were literally live. Like, it wasn't pre recorded. They were signed into a Facebook account. And I was like, what in the world? It didn't make you wonder. Is it a slap in the face? Let's say whoever this is watching right now, let's say your your family member. Their life was taken from them at the hands of this this person. 
you get on Facebook, you see, although they have life in prison with no possibility of parole, you see this person on Facebook Live having a good time. How would you feel? Because to me, I would feel like I would be upset. <laughs> For lack of better terminology, I would be upset because I would feel like Granted, I don't think that your life should end or anything like that, but me personally, I don't want to see you smiling. I don't want to see you having a good time, enjoying yourself, carefree. No, no, because I'm, I still have a wound in my heart that's missing because something that you did. And at the end of the day, when people are in prison and they get these long periods of time where they have to be in there, they accept it and they're okay with it. So them being behind bars, it's, it's nothing to them once they accept it. So I don't want you to stop living your life. However, you need to be punished. Being put in a jail cell where you still have access to all this social media, where you can talk to whoever, whenever, however, you're not going to feel like you're in jail. You're not. You're literally going to feel like you're, you may be on vacation. You know, some people put their minds in different places and they make themselves believe stuff. To you, you can probably make yourself seem like you're on an extended vacation, but you're still able to talk to these people whenever you want to. That's whack. That is whack. Mm. Y'all, these do not be that good when they start getting cold. Um, next up on the menu, this might be last thing actually, Dave Chappelle requested that Netflix take the Chappelle show off of their streaming networks because they were not paying him accordingly. He asked for all of his fans to boycott it, boycott the Dave Chappelle show on Netflix, and they agreed. Ultimately, Netflix made the decision to take it down. And I think what baffles me, first off, kudos to you, Dave Chappelle, for standing your ground, holding your own, demanding what you felt was right, and getting the outcome that you looked for. I definitely commend that. However, I hate to bring it up again, but once again, Dave Chappelle demanded that Netflix do a certain thing and that his fans stand behind him, and they did it. When Monique, a black woman, demanded the same respect from Netflix, everybody labeled her as the bitter, angry black woman. Hmm. 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 Now, I'm not going to lie. At a point in time when it first happened, I, I'm not going to say I wasn't Team Monique, but I wasn't 100% convinced initially before I knew all of the facts surrounding it and her entire argument. When I first seen it, I'm like, what? What is going on? Like, I, I, I was ignorant to what was going on. But when I sat down and researched everything, psh, Hmm. But once again, The black woman is considered angry and bitter. Mm. 
That's a miracle, honestly. I don't know what else is there. What did, um, was it Malcolm X? I believe it was Malcolm X. I hope I'm not wrong. The most hated person in America is the black woman. The most disrespected person in America is the black woman. I said that in another video. I'm saying it in this one. And I will say it again. And I will say it again. And I will say it again. What? Excuse me. Ooh. Because it, it just even, once again, goes back to, um, Nope, I'll save that for a whole different conversation because that's going to be a good video because I got a lot to say about that one. Yeah, no, I'm not going to use that one. But yeah, it's just whenever a black woman says they don't agree with something or they're being combative, no matter what the reason is, they are labeled angry. They are labeled bitter. Anyone else does it? Nothing happens. So, I'm going to go ahead and sign out, you guys. Um, yeah. Make sure you grab your AO sauce. It is on sale now. By the time this video comes out. I hope it's not sold out because I'm feel bad. But, um... Yeah, if you're not subscribed to the channel, grab right there, boom, and the bell right there, boom, so you can never find it until the time of the video. But if you want to take a nice AO chat, so back to the school, some boss go out the middle. Boom. I'm gonna see my social media. Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, and follow me. Let me comment on Instagram, let me leave me on Instagram, let me come here. Do whatever. Let me know what's like, what's done like, what you wanna see, what don't wanna see, what's one table, what don't wanna say, what's one eat, what don't wanna 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 eat, what don't w